welcome to my channel. My name is Reagan May and today we are going to talk all about budgets. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the tools that you can use to set your own budget. And then we're gonna end with walking through my budget that I do every single month. So my plan here is to be really raw and open and show you the actual numbers that I budget with. I feel like I value when other people show me their numbers so that I can see like this is actually where their money went. Um, and I hope that that's helpful to you guys. This is gonna be a pretty chill video. I know budgeting can be very intimidating and scary and some people may feel like it doesn't come naturally to them. Some people may love budgeting, but I just want to encourage you that you can find something that is simple and easy and works for you. It may take a couple months, but I've been doing this for a little over a year now and I've finally, like I sit down and I enjoy setting my budget now. At first, it was kind of intimidating because I didn't know what money to a lot where or how much I was gonna spend in this category and I would always over budget or under budget and I wanted to just tell you don't let that discourage you just adjust after that month and then adjust again and eventually it will be like clockwork it'll be easy and it can even become enjoyable so like I said my name is Reagan May and if you're new here my channel is all about maximizing my 20s through financial minimalism extreme savings and intentional living if you are going on that journey yourself or you'd like to or you just want to watch my journey then go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. I will be uploading every single Sunday with videos on budgeting, finances, life, intentional living. Go ahead and subscribe if that interests you at all. Let's go ahead and just get into the video. Let's budget. A huge budgeting template that I wanted to talk about was the 50, 30, 20 kind of template. This template means that 50% of your income, your after-tax income goes towards your needs. Needs are any bill that you have to pay for each and every month. So these are things like insurance, rent, your bills, um, maybe your car, health expenses, things that you cannot live without. The second category is 30% of your after-tax incomes goes towards your wants. This is why so many people love this template because it still allows you the freedom and the balance to have 30% of your income towards buying what you want to spend your money on. So once include things like going out to eat, going on vacation, going to a concert, hanging out with friends. It also includes things like upgrades. So like getting that new iPhone, anything that isn't necessary goes into that once category. And then the last section is the 20%, which is 20 percent of your income goes towards savings and savings is anything like your emergency fund anything for your future your retirement fund investments anything like that so many people start budgeting because they are spending money on random things everywhere and they just have little control over that and so this template really helps to bring you back to balance you are still enjoying life and having balance but you are not spending above your means in any way shape or form so this is a great tool especially if you've never budgeted before. Some people stay on this their whole life. I started on this one and then now as my goals have changed and I want to prioritize savings a bit more, I tweak it and I don't really stay with that 30% on one. Overall, you should not be spending more than 50% on your needs and 30% on your wants. I'm going to leave an article down below talking about this 50, 30, 20 rule. Again, I'm gonna show you my budget, which deviates a little bit from this, but but overall, it's very simple to do and it is such an easy way to begin budgeting and get more on a balanced track and cut your spending a bit without being too um, crazy from the beginning. Let's talk about the steps on how to make a budget, especially if you've never made one before. So the first step is to know your why. It is so important to have goals and a path that you are going on so that you have a general direction. I would recommend sitting down and writing down like three goals that you have. Ours are getting Aaron's car loan situation figured out by January, saving $10,000 next year and embracing financial minimalism. This helps me realize that, okay, all my extra money needs to go towards Aaron's car. Then I need to save all of my extra money. And then third, financial minimalism is me kind of deciding like, I don't want to spend that 30% of my wants. I really want to kind of cut down to bare bones. So now I can head into setting my budget with these goals in mind that help me 
personalize my budget towards what I need and the direction that I want to go. It actually makes it easier to have these goals, so I would highly recommend them. I would love for everyone to comment their financial goals down below. Okay, so the second thing to do when you are ready to make a budget is to track your expenses. What is your income a month and what are your expenses? Like I said, budgeting is a system of taking your income and allotting a certain amount to each category or expense. It is recommended that before you set a budget, you know your expenses from the past like two to four months, I would say. This is important so that you can set a realistic budget and you're not just like pulling numbers out of like literal thin air. You can see like, okay, I spent this much on electricity. This is my car payment. This is my rent. This is how much I've been spending on shopping. It allows you to see the full picture of what you've been doing on your finances. I really wanna mention that this step requires a lot of grace with yourself, especially if you are doing this for the first time. Remember that the reason you are setting a budget is because you want to take control of your finances. Don't focus on all the mistakes that you have made in the past. Part of tracking your expenses is becoming aware, and sometimes that's a really difficult thing to do. Have grace with yourself have patience with yourself and just say like, okay, this is why I'm budgeting and I don't need to beat myself up about it, but I want to work on this and fix this moving forward. I really wanted to say that because it is so easy to be hard on yourself, but remember that is why you are doing it. It's to take more responsibility. So really be proud of yourself instead of beating yourself up. It is important to know though, how much you're spending on each category. So this is where I use mint.com. Like I said, mint.com is a website or an app where you hook up all of your cards, so your debit, credit, all of your accounts. Um, you can hook up different things, but I'm just gonna talk about the tracking portion of this. So once you hook it up, every time you use that card, a transaction goes through, and Mint will actually categorize them. So you can do this for that two to four month period and see kind of like an average of what you are spending each and every month. Um, there also are other apps out there, but I think Mint is great because you don't have to be like super conscious of it. You can just put everything in there and then look at the end of the month and see like, okay, this is what I spent. Also, you can use bank statements, you can use papers, receipts, every dollar. There's a lot of different things that you can use for this. I just like to mention mint.com because it automatically does it and it helps you categorize them, which that can be kind of difficult when you're first starting out is figuring out like what your categories are. After you finish tracking your expenses and your income, now now it is time to list out your expenses. So you've let mint.com do its thing and then you go on there and now you need to list them out because this is what is going to turn into your categories that you put on your like spreadsheet. If you are using the 50, 30, 20, this is where you would list out your needs your wants and your savings. You can add it all up and see if you are spending within that percentage or not. And it makes it really easy to know where you need to cut from and where you like are good with your money. The reason that so many people like mint.com is because it makes this portion easier. It has kind of already categorized these things up for you. So when you go to list out your expenses, it's a little easier and um, you can kind of filter through and place them easier into the categories. Now it's time to actually open up our Excel spreadsheet and budget this out for the month. You put it all out in your spreadsheet and then you need to go and work on cutting expenses based on your goals. So if you're doing 50, 30, 20, you need to get each category under 50, 30, and 20 by cutting each category. If you want to do it more personalized, then just make sure you are hitting your financial goals and cutting what is least important to you.
hit all of my goals at this point. My needs are around 50%. My wants are well below 30% and my savings are well above 20%. So now we can see that it is at zero and I've budgeted everything. That is how simple it is. It seems kind of difficult. Um, my biggest tip is to push yourself while being realistic. It is kind of a balancing act, especially the first couple months. Place it off of your tracking and then you can start to slowly cut that down over time. I wanted to mention as well, don't be afraid to play around with your numbers. Okay, so after I have set everything on the spreadsheet and I have it at zero, this is where I go and I enter into every dollar. Super easy. I literally do it word for word, category for category. So that is the end of today's video. I will leave all of the resources that I used below, mint.com, every dollar. I will leave an article on 50, 30, 20 if you want more information on how to use that. If this video helped you at all, then go ahead and like the video so that other people can see it and just so that I know that I'm explaining things in a way that is helpful to you guys. I wanted to just give y'all resources and show y'all how I do it. The whole goal of this is to help everyone learn how to maximize their 20s and budgeting definitely helps you maximize your finances. I 100% believe that. So thank you guys for watching. I will see y'all next time.